this cake is the prize at the end of the rainbow. Like you, we are enchanted by how you can mix colors for such a gorgeous frosting effect. Courtney Rich promises it's easy and doable for any baker on any cake, and it better be because this girlfriend set me up right here to try you this You are doing out. one. You listen, always get to try what I'm listen, doing, Brooke. Listen, you're amazing. Oh, we well, know that. That's established. nice. But <laughs> I think this is genius because it's not just simply stripes of color on a cake. Right. There is a twist and a bend and an effect to this that is so cool. And it's, it's easy. That's what I promise you, Brooke. It's easy. Because look at all the piping colors we have here. I picked five colors. Try to put all of those in one bag and it's going to be jammed packed. You're not going to get all the colors to come out evenly like this. Well, and won't it turn out greenish brown in the yes, end? Yes, it just kind of mixes. It doesn't give you the full rainbow effect. And you could do that with any color combination, like match your sprinkles and do orange and pink. Uh -huh. But we picked the rainbow because I had originally done this around St. Patrick's Day. Okay. And so it was, I had gold coins in my cake. So when we cut open, you know, that's, it was the gold at the end <laughs> of the rainbow. That was a surprise. So we've mixed our buttercream. I use American color food gels in each of these because you don't need a lot of the food gel to make a really pretty color and I even kept it kind of muted and pastel. I like the here. softer subtle shade. So I have my plastic wrap. Okay. Just, just regular just plastic regular wrap. Just regular plastic wrap and I'm going to go towards the end right here and I'm just going to pipe my pink. Okay. Give yourself enough that okay. you can do lots of okay. rainbows and now right next to it really close we're going to do my orange. They're going to kiss. Yep here. I'm oh gonna, my you're gosh. starting you over on your kidding. side. Here we go. Yep. Keep them nice and close together. Okay. I've got my yellow. How far up? About halfway? Yeah, about halfway is good. Okay. Green. Okay. Sorry, my palms start to sweat a little bit. <laughs> when I'm standing the next to the experts. The pressure's on. Okay. Well, and the rainbow theme, you talked about how appropriate it is for St. Patrick's Day, sure, but it's such a trendy motif right now. It is. With the unicorn, yellow. And we've yellow. got the unicorn there. Okay, so I'm going to show you now. Well, I'm going to wait for you to finish piping oh. so we can oh. roll this together. Pressure, pressure. Okay, and the, thing, the other thing we love about Courtney and her cakes is they, we know they taste as good as they look, which isn't always the case sometimes when you well, look at a pretty... Well, that's number one for me. Yeah. I will always work on the taste of a cake before I worry about the design. And that's okay. really how I started, just because I liked how cakes tasted. Okay, <laughs> and so take who the doesn't? end of yes. your plastic wrap. Yes. Now, see, I'm not going to start folding this over. I want to fold where the color is. Okay. So just gently start to bring that over, and then look how I'm oh going to bring my colors together. So then... I have a kind of a rolled up, yes, perfect. Is that it? And then bring those together a little okay, bit. Okay, okay. Okay, then finish rolling up in your plastic wrap. Okay, okay. All right, so don't smash or anything, but oh. look at our opening here. Okay. And this is what we're gonna put into our piping bag. Right into where I have our... Wait, now where's our opening, on this end? Yes, right there. Oh, so keep it kind of even. Keep it kind of even. Okay. And then I'll hold the bag for you. Oh gosh. Like You've I'm got really this. nervous. Not a lot of things make me nervous, but okay. when I want to do something well <laughs> in front of someone I want to impress. Okay. Okay, so then you kind of just squeeze that up here. Okay, okay. Hold that. And now let me get over to this side. And I put it on a cake plate already and then also on the turntable to give you height because it's easier to pipe when you're closer to eye level rather than trying to pipe something on the side. We're still going to bend down a little bit. Okay. But let's get... Make sure I've got my rainbow color coming. Okay. See, all of a sudden this is an athletic event. There's form, oh, there's, there's position. Ha ha. And you can kind of twist your arm as you do it so you get oh, the effect cool. of the rainbow. Your turn. Really? Yes, Are we you sure? got this. Because yes. that one's really pretty. Okay. Now wait. get close to it. Yep. Close. Perfect. Close. And then bring it up. I'll hold eee! you steady. Well. Look, do it again though. Do it again. Because you. <laughs> <laughs> Look how good it started. You got nervous in the okay, table. Okay, okay. That wasn't your fault. Okay. Do one right here. That was a B pluser. Hold on. Oh. There it is. Oh. There it is. Look. Look at that, and look, we're going to just wish put on my rainbow. a few little clouds at the end. <laughs> to cover that little trail. No, but that's perfect, <gasps> right? Adorable. Like, kind of foolproof. Oh my gosh, adorable. And then we could even just, I added like little clouds kind of throughout. Uh-huh. But you just put these. Oh, this is so cute. Here, Something we're going like to turn just a bit. Hello, lovely. How fun is that? So that's kind of fun, and then, um, you can start with different colors too. So like over here, I'll maybe have the green lead and out. the blue on the top kind of lead out. Okay. So and the then, rainbow application is the obvious and that's the home run star. Are there yeah. other applications to this stripey frosting Absolutely. technique? Absolutely. So you match your colors maybe to your sprinkles over there. You uh -huh. could do rosettes. You could just do little um, kind of little swirls, little Nike sign. You know what I flourishes. mean? Just like little flourishes. This is amazing. Um, but you oh. could also pipe Another fun one is when you just hold it on the bottom and, and you just pipe around to finish it off. So you have a stripe and we can go up the whole cake like that. I did oh, my amazing. peach cake and then we just follow it along 
just like that. Okay, there are so many reasons to follow along this lady. She mentioned the peach cake casually, but that is like the star cake of the month that you really <laughs> worked hard to cultivate and nail the recipe. Yeah. So that recipe is available, I know, on your website. Yes, cakebycourtney.com. fall classes too. Okay, so there, the schedule's coming out okay. in like two weeks. We're gonna release September all the way through December. So we have a bunch of classes, a bunch of new cakes. Go to the Orson Giggy website. That's where you sign up for the classes. That's where you can get all the information. But the key is to sign up yeah. right when they post. Yeah, it is, as in within minutes. Because they do sell out. <laughs> do. She's that great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brooke. We're gonna link you over to both of those websites from our website, Cakes by Courtney, and also Orson Giggy, where, you're, where you will find that complete cast the class schedule. There it is. All of that at studio5.ksl.com. Just click on the recipe tab.